वेलकम बैक टू कैड कैन ट्यूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक ए कॉम्प्रेसर इनक्लोजर इन सॉलिड वर्क विद हेल्प ऑफ शीट मेटल टूल्स एंड यू हियर यू विल लर्न मेनी थिंग्स इवन आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कस्टमाइज योर लूअर्स दिस लूअर्स इज नॉट स्टैंडर्ड दिस इज कस्टमाइज लूअर आई विल शो यू हाउ टू यूज प्रीवियस लूअर्स प्रीवियस लूअर्स एंड कस्टमाइज दिस वन एंड यूज इन योर सिस्टम एंड सम बेसिक फीचर्स ऑफ शीट मेटल आई होप यू लाइक इट सो लेट्स मेक दिस सिंपल exercise in solid work sheet metal let's make a new exercise in solid work this is compressor enclosure and going to make in sheet metal so let's start with this front view you will see this is a kind of shape we will make half portion and half we will mirror okay so the first one we need to make 400 length height 350 mm if you check the side view the length or extrude 600 mm thickness you will see 5 mm and the all corner inside radius 5 mm because in sheet metal always inside radius counts so we will make this one then we will extrude this wall in both side 170 mm see but if you check overall length it's 632 600 minus 632 32 mm means one side 16 mm you will see here in detail view see this is the detail view from this point to outside bend 16 mm outer radius 10 mm inside 5 mm So ten minus sixteen is six millimeter offset. If you are going to check here also, see, see six millimeter offset, and this is bend outside. So outer radius ten six sixteen. So let's make this. Now we will use right plane, a sketch, line, and uh, just draw this. activate smart dimension now this length 400 okay and this one 350 that's it now go to sheet metal or right click tabs and activate sheet metal here base flange activate base flange now here end condition keep mid plane so it help us 600 see if you check normal view see thickness going outside we need inside because our dimensions from outside to outside so where you have to click you have to click here reverse direction thickness 5 mm inside radius 5 mm k factor and everything same as it is okay look now let's activate edge flange drag this one and this side but this length 170 mm keep end condition blind 170 mm keep distance from outer sharp outer edge and bend we will keep outside see and offset we need to make 4 mm 6 mm see this bend should be a 6 mm because outer radius 10 mm so 10 plus 6 is 8 mm we don't need here corner relief so let's say okay evaluate measure now let's measure this this side and this side now here see 632 this is what we need okay this one is achieved there is one more bend if you see this view you will see inside this dotted line this length you will see 165 from outer edge okay but how 
and there is a hole also 30 25 15 millimeter hole and there are eight number of holes this is also 25 from bottom now if you check here in this detail view see 60 millimeter from outside to this edge 60 millimeter okay and this is just bend outside because see here 10 millimeter from the inside edge so okay let's me choose this edge okay now edit flange look drag is activate is smart dimension now distance from outer edge is 165 and the distance from here to outer edge 60 see isometric view back and rest everything same material in outside that then only we will get this and uh, we don't need any offset if you are going to check close view see there is a small one millimeter gap this is what we need say ok now let's check if I am going to select this normal view and we will find this see there is a gap a small gap but that that is we need ok select this face a sketch let's make two holes the, this hole is 15 now select both the points vertical relation now again select both the circle hold shift key equal is okay activate the smart dimension tool now first outer distance 30 millimeter that's it now distance from here 25 and the similar from here also 25 look this is the distance go to sheet metal and select extruded cut now here select up to surface and I'll choose inside surface say ok look now let's mirror this right plane go to features mirror feature now what features we want to mirror so just simply drop down this menu and here age and extruded cut these two features going to mirror say ok look now let's make there is a flange now let's make there is a flange see at the top view this is just at the center 360 by 2 is 316 313 C60 25 R 40 is radius. We will make one side and another we will mirror. Okay, let's do and one more thing. We need to make this lures. This is custom made lures. I'll show you how to make. This is lure size. You will see 100 millimeter. Distance 150 80 from the upper side and corner there is one chamfer 120 by 120 okay this chamfer also we will make and uh, there is a four number of lures 70 distance and center to center 300 millimeters see here 180 80 look make sure this distance now first I'll go to sheet metal drop down break corner now here I will choose chamfer 120 and edges we have to select 1, 2, ok. Now again edge flange, now just drag this one 
click here edit flange that's it now drag because we want to customize this activate three point arc draw one half circle right click exit click this one center line circle and draw one circle and this diameter 25 activate smart dimension 40 millimeter this radius and the distance from outer edge is 60 millimeter okay line connect this line from origin point if you can't find then you will find here midpoint that's it click this line vertical see this is fully defined sketch isometric view back now here everything is according to our drawing this should be inside so keep material inside see but here you have to find corner relief angle core custom relief type rectangle ratio either keep ratio or unchecked and uh, the thickness it's according to uh, material according to thickness it's 5 millimeter or 5 millimeter that's it or directly use custom one ratio one ratio means it's 5 by 5 say okay look Now, click here design library, you will find go to forming tools, here one folder lures, see this is the custom, this is the main lure, right click open. Now this is the lure, we want to modify it, see this is the small lure, 32, we want to make 100, so click this one, 100. Okay, now this one, see the first one, edit, now this one 30 millimeter is okay, but this one make more than 100, 150, okay, now see, again select this layout sketch. This 6 change 20, that's it and click this edge and here the radius, double click and make the radius 10, look, okay here is cut because we need to change this one, 50, now see, now this one save as click save as now I already saved this one as a lure 3 so I am not going to save just simply save uh, this destination will come here already ok now cancel it now I am going to drag lure 3 here to this face ok now let's make the position first flip ok this is comes out let's make rotate 90 no, we don't need, we need reverse, so 270 degree, okay, we need like this. Position, activate smart dimension. Now, distance from this side, 150, then distance from outer edge, 80. This is perfect, say okay, okay, look, the lower is created. Now let's make multiple pattern or multiple lures. Go to feature linear pattern. First X direction. So I'll choose this bottom. Now this one 70. You already saw in drawing 70. Here first choose features. So I'll directly choose this one. It's going upside. Reverse. 74 number of instances. Direction 2. Direction 2 this horizontal type so I am going to choose this side 
and uh, this one 300 but this is also going wrong direction so click reverse two number of instances we need say okay look the lure is created now see now this is the corner relief while we are going to make this one 5 by 5 we already did this one okay now lures also finished so what else balance there is a hole see there is a 15 number of 15 diameter hole 150 30 four number of holes I'll select this face sketch now I'll draw one center line or construction line click dynamic mirror I'll choose this one activate circle click 15 enter see it's automatically mirror because we choose dynamic mirror deactivate a smart dimension 150 now distance from here to here 30 millimeter sheet metal and choose extruded cut keep end condition link to thickness okay if we keep link to thickness it will cut only th up to the thickness of material now this is the our main part is ready now let's mirror this mirror face I'll going to choose this outer face and here I'll choose body mirror I'll choose whole body merge solid say yes oh look let's go to sheet metal and click flat pattern oh look our product is ready now if you want to export this one in 2d format right click and here you will find export to dxf dxf folder and uh, this one i will keep desktop save faces loop i will keep sheet metal show bend line sketch also show and the forming tool already it's going to show so let's show forming tool okay save okay now once you click save see this is the 2d drawing going to save as a dxf format and this one you can import in autocad and you even though you can use for machine purpose save that's it so this is the simple tutorial how to make a compressor enclosure in solidworks with the help of sheet metal tool i hope you enjoyed don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.